The Home Office and the Design Council launched a Designing Out Crime initiative to reduce the theft of handheld gadgets through better design. I'm really pleased that designers, some of the companies producing them, the police and young people themselves have come together to look really practically at what we can do to make a difference and I believe we can. The Design Council has been commissioned by the Home Office for this project, Designing Out Crime. Uh, and what that means is that they've brought us on board to really act as a, as a broker for all of the people involved that need to come together to, to crack uh, various problems around crime. We've brought together uh, designers uh, with technologists, criminologists and young people uh, to, to crack the problem of uh, hot product theft, such as iPods and MP3 players and phones. One in three young people we discovered in our research who had a crime committed against them, attempted theft, were using one of those gadgets, one of those um, items at the time. So using the material actually puts it on display, it makes you more vulnerable. I think what Design Against Crime can do is to create, um, I suppose, a unique selling point for the products. As well as looking good and being useful to you as the object, it also has an anti-crime functionality. So really one of the big challenges is to create something that's um, desirable to use in the first place and um, it's not just um, some clunky object that doesn't go with their outfit and that sort of thing. So we need to be sure that it doesn't look criminal <laughs> or it doesn't look ugly and just um, they want to use it.